Hey, Portal Structure has just added auto axis relabeling on the new version 2025. Now, before this time, we all know how renumbering axis is very, very stressful. For example, if you have a very massive structure, you are planning to perform the structural design. By the time you import the AutoCAD file into the Portal Structure software, and then you now import your DSF file into it, you will see that you have so many axes to renumber. For example, you will see your axis will be numbered A1, A2, B1, B2, and, and all that. And these things might not align with the main card file that came with the word architectural drawing. And with this, you have to renumber it alphabetically for the fat card axis. And then, let me say, A, B, C, D, and all that. You know, and these things become, these things makes modeling very, very stressful. But in this new version of this of this year um, software, they have added auto axis relay bearing that in just two in just two clicks you will be able to renumber all the axes that you that that you have on your structural model in just two clicks. Let me show you that just now. Now, as you can see my screen here, this is the new version of this software, Porta 2025. As you can see that, you can see how the axes are being numbered. One, two, three, and also this other one, A, B, C, D, and so on. You can see, so this will be able to tally with the uh, with the um, with the card file. Now, before this time, on the previous version, there was no way for you to automatically number your grid lines or your axes like this. You have to do them one after the other by changing the names. Just as you can see on the 2024 version, the same um, the same framing you just saw now is the same framing you are seeing here. So this is the um, how the grid line appears before this time on older version but on this new version you just have to change them automatically and there was no um, way for you to do that on the previous version now i will have to import this plan again now on 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 on, on both version last last year version and this year version and then you will see the you will see the difference okay that's fine now, if I choose to delete everything here on 24 version, which is the older version, and then try to re-import everything that we have here, just import them back, just to show you that there are a difference, there are some upgrade that has been done on 2025 version. Okay, that's fine. So this is 20, this is 24 version, which is last year version. If I come now to import DSL file, for example, I have a DSL file now, which is here. All right. If I come now and say um, import DSL file and import those axes, and then come here and say import. Okay, that's fine. So you will be able to see that um, you will see the you will see the grid lines now. We just appear. If I say okay, then come here and say. So this is how it is on the previous version. Okay, there was no way for you to make any changes at all. Okay, that's fine. And if we go right now and go and look at places to um to go and to for to change it automatically there was no there is nowhere at all okay that's fine but if i now go back to 25 which is the new version and go and do that you will see that there, there'll be a way or, or there's a button for us to renumber them automatically let's go now for the latest version of this software now this is the latest version of this software i'll also delete everything which i have here right now i'll just right click then come here and say delete okay that's fine so i'll delete everything here which i have here now and then also remove this um trace card file and just re-import um the this card file automatically so i'll come here right now i'll just take this off just say remove okay just remove this I'll come here, remove this, okay? Then say okay. So right now, this is our NT225 portal structure screen, okay? That's fine. So with that, now if I now come here and then say on this place, it's not reference drawing, and then come here and say add DSF file for me to import my DSF into this version. I'll then come now and then pick the DSF file which I which I want. I'll come here and say open, and then it will appear the trace will just appear here if I say active now. Now on the active now we are seeing the trace file here. Now let's now go and import the 
DSF um, layers, okay, which is the column layer and the grid line layer. So I'll come now and then say um, import here. Now I'll come here and then say yes here. Now on saying yes now, you will see that it will just automatically convert everything now to grid line um, to um, grid line to axis and then to columns. Okay, that's fine. So I'll come now and then say okay. So you can see that the same way we still have the same the same axis numbering A B C you know A one, which is also how it was previously. But don't be surprised. Right now on this place, if I now come now on this place that says review, because on this tab now I'll be able to change all these names automatically for me to have one two three and not all these kind of um um axis um um label okay that's fine before this time we will have to do it like this come here right click here and then say um uh, um properties then come here and say one and then say what update and this thing takes so much time okay for you to change it for a very big project okay that's fine so let, let me just do undo right now so this is the way we need to do it before by changing them one after the other manually but on this new version you have to do it just in just two clicks so right now those two clicks is first once you have imported this on this plan before you can perform anything be, be, begin your modeling right now all what you have is the column and the grid line alone so before you can do anything just try to um relabel the axis okay that's fine so to do that come to review tab here on the review tab come here and say what relabel what members okay that's fine then come here and then say yes now before this time there was no room for this um axis um tab here okay all what we have was just column and all this but right now we now have axis for us to also do what we label now if we go back to the previous version now you will see that you don't have this axis tab okay as this option uh, as a member okay that's fine so let me now walk you back to the previous version just now so this is the previous version as you can see it here to do it for product structure if i now go to this um, review and tab two and come here and say relabel members you can see that we don't have that axis tab all what you can change is the column share wall beam slab and rib slab but there is no room for us to relabel axis okay that's fine so but on the newer version you have that option so i'll just cancel right now and head back to our newer version so on this place now, which is a newer version here, you can be able to see that now we have what? Axis. This is 25 version. We now have axis now. Now on this axis now, just come here to now change your axis. Let me just do it again. Come, just cancel here. Come here that says what? Um, re review tab. Then come here, relabel axis. Say yes. Okay, that's fine. Then you now come here that says what? Axis. Now make sure you check this axis here. Okay, check it. Now once you check this now, come to, to this other side and I can see they say axis here. This um, axis 2 is the vertical ones, okay? And basically, at standard, vertical axis are normally 1, 2, 3, alright? They are normally in what? Numeral, um, um, like 1, 2, 3. Why the one for horizontal are being numbered A, B, C, D? Alphabetically, okay? That's fine. So with this now, I want to make axis 2, which is the vertical axis, to be what? 1, 2, 3 method. So I'll come now and pick here for you to number them 1, 2, 3 method. Then come to this one that says direction 2, which is the horizontal axis. I will now come now and then say it should pick what a b c d and so on so with this now once you have done these two um options come here right now and then say okay automatically now it will change just watch can you see that it has all changed now to how it i am how it is meant to look like now you can see in just two clicks we have just changed um, or relabel or or renamed all the axes automatically so this is one of the um, um this is one of the greatest update that this software 25 has for us okay that's fine and for people that does massive project you will bear with me that make changing these things manually is very very time consuming but with this new version you can see that everything um becomes more easier um trying to model your structure knowing that Pota structure is the best software for reinforced concrete design or for structural analysis and design of building or concrete structures and also steel structures okay that's fine so right now thank you so much this is just what i have to, have to show you that you can now relabel or rename your axis in Pota structure 25 automatically in just two click now if you like this video if you if you enjoyed this video and you like this update i would like you to update also 
your or upgrade your own version of product structure that's fine there are still greater um updates which i'll be releasing every week throughout this month okay that's fine now if you enjoyed this video please give this video a thumbs up and also um comment your uh, comment what the next update you will that, like you would love to see on the software because most of these comments that we that that we that we have here on our channel we used to write we to compile them and write to put a structure because they always they always request for our own review too so we used to um send what they should add on the on the new fashion that is coming okay that's fine so thank you so much and god bless you we we'll love you and bye for now see you on the next video which is coming up tomorrow bye now bye then